Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here again with another game in our 2025 Royals season. And uh, we are today, this is Friday, May 9th on the schedule, and we are playing the Texas Rangers. Now, as you can see on the screen, and I actually I'll bring up the actual full standings page. We are in last place in the Central, as we have been the last couple of seasons. We're 9-23, and 23, which is a terrible record, but we're playing the Texas Rangers, who are also doing quite poorly right now. They're 11-21 and 21 currently. Um, and so we, we soldier on into another bad season. I thought the acquisition of Juan Soto and uh, some of the other acquisitions that we had made and cuts and send downs and bring ups was going to result in us being a little better, but apparently that did not happen. And uh, we can take a look at the uh, the um, the pitching staff, and uh, we can see why that is. You've got Brady Singer, who right now has an 8.35 earned run average for us and an 0 and 4 record. Then you've got uh, Jose Soriano, who right now is 0-4 with a 7.08 record. Then you've got Juan Daniel Encarnacion, who is 1-3 with an 8.40 earned run average. Randy Vasquez is today's starter, and he's coming into this game um, with a 1-2 record and a 5.40 earned run average. And then you got Johnny Brito. Picking up the rear, the fifth starter, who in 32 innings this year has a 7.79 ERA. So with ERAs like that, you're not going to get the results that you want. Now, um, if we uh, take a look, let's see, let's go back here. Uh, if we take a look here, you can see that we are, see, offensively, we're tied for 15th in um, in offense. Uh, we're 10th in average. We're tied for 16th in home runs. So we're not really terrible offensively. But in ERA, we're 30th. In strikeouts, we're tied for 27th. And in defensive efficiency, we're 30th. And so those, that's what's really bringing us down. But uh, with that, all of that having been said, let's get going with the game here. Um, can see Juan Soto is getting tired. He's wearing down. Jero Pomeranz is cold, and Melendez is cold as well. We'll go over the Texas lineup. They're going to go with Leody Traveris leading off and playing center field, then Marcus Semien in left. Uh, Justin Foscu will be the first baseman. Corey Seager will be at shortstop picking up the uh, cleanup spot. Josh Young will play third base for them, batting fifth. Nathaniel Lowe will be the DH, batting 6th. Luke Raley is going to be in right field and batting 7th. Batting 8th, they got Jose Devers at 2nd base. And batting ninth, they have Henry Ford, not the guy who invented the automobile, at catcher. We are going to go with Michael Massey leading off and playing 2nd base. He's hitting 369 on the year, so he's having a good season. Bobby Witt Jr., very, um, a very uh, disappointing season for him. He'll play, be at third base batting second with a 205 batting average. Henry Davis is in for Salvador Perez, who is out with a hamstring injury, and he's only hitting 125. Juan Soto is picking up the uh, cleanup spot in left field, hitting 280 on the year with three home runs. Caden Wallace will be the first baseman. He's hitting 287 on the year with four home runs. Uh, actually having a better year than Soto. Jaro Pomeranz is in right. He's hitting 229. Diego Hernandez is batting seventh. He'll be in center field with a 262 batting average so far. MJ Melendez at DH is hitting 202. And we've got Zheng Sheng at shortstop hitting 190, and as I mentioned, Randy Vasquez is our starter today with a 540 earned run average, and so with all of that out of the way, we will get on with this home game uh, against the Texas Rangers, and we get a little panoramic view of uh, Kauffman Stadium, so hopefully, I mean, he's 
and, and it's it's really bad to say, but he is Vasquez is our best starter with a 540 earned run average. So hopefully we have a chance at winning this game against a bad Texas team with our best quote unquote best starter going. And there's a base hit for Texas. They've got a man aboard with one out. Uh, we are going to do a pitch out, see if we can catch him trying to steal. And that is going to be a deep fly ball. It's going to go split the gap and be a double, possibly uh, scoring the run. We'll see if it does. No, no, uh, Semyon held it third. So that brings up Corey Seeger with two on and one out. And that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. And the run does not score. So they still have runners at second and third. Now with two outs. So we could get out of this with no uh, damage done. Josh Young is the batter. And he is going to pop it up to second base. And Massey makes the play. So we did get out of that with no runs allowed, which is good. And Michael Massey leading off. And Tanner Bybee is the starter, by the way. I should have mentioned that for the Texas Rangers. There's one down quickly and Bobby Witt Jr. up. As I said, disappointing year for him. And he flies out to left on his first at bat this game. And that brings up Henry Davis. And Henry Davis is going to split the gap. He's going to get a double himself. So nice. Henry Davis uh, playing for... No, he's going to get a triple. Henry Davis with a triple. Showing that uncharacteristic catcher speed. And now he's only 90 feet away with Juan Soto as the batter. And that's the guy you want up. But he is going to fly out on a great play to center field. And we get no runs. We go to the second inning with uh, uh, Nathaniel Lowe batting for Texas. And he strikes out. Um, Luke Rayleigh, the right fielder. Luke Rayleigh strikes out. So, yeah, we've got Vasquez showing some gas here. And Jose Devers is the batter for Texas. With two down. And that's going to be a ground ball down to first base and the out. And that brings up our first baseman, Caden Wallace, the guy who made that play to end the uh, second inning for Texas, Texas's second inning. And he is going to fly out deep to left field, but that is one out. Brings up Hiro Pomeranz, and he's going to strike out. So there's two outs, two down quickly, and Diego Hernandez, the left fielder, is the batter. And he is going to ground out to third. So we go one, two, three right there in the second. We're going to the top of the third, hoping Vasquez can keep up the pressure here. Henry Ford is the batter for the uh, Texas Rangers, and he is out. Brings up Leody Tavares, the top of their order, and he walks Tavares. So they've got a man aboard. We are going to do the pitch out, try to hold him at second. And we're even going to throw to first and uh, try to keep him close. We don't want him stealing if we can help it. And that paid off because we turned a double play. So that is it, yeah. So we are going back on the attack here in the bottom of the third with MJ Melendez up. And he hits the ball right into the ground. Can he beat it out? He can beat it out. So MJ Melendez will be aboard with a base hit and infield single right there. And Sheng is the batter, the shortstop. Should have sacrificed probably with him up, but uh, didn't. And Michael Massey is the batter. Let's see if he can get a base hit. He is our best hitter, and he is going to fly out to center field. There's two down quickly, and Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter. And he is going to ground out to the third baseman. So we get a man on, but we leave him stranded. And uh, we go to the top of the fourth in a 0-0 ball game. We have a chance in this one. 
and that is going to be a walk. So Texas has a man aboard. He's not particularly fast. We didn't have to watch him, but, um, oh, he's going to take an extra base. So now they're going to have runners at the corners with nobody out. Excellent scoring chance for Texas, and we do get one out, but that moves a runner to third and scores the guy on third that was on third. So they have a Texas has a one nothing lead here, and Low is the batter that'll hold the runner at second and get the out at first. Two down quickly and Rayleigh after you know after a couple of hits, and that's going to be a base hit might score a run for Texas. Got to believe it's going to. Well, no. No, it doesn't. So they've still only got a one nothing lead, and they have uh, Jose Devers up the plate. And he's going to ground out to second. So we do hold him to just the one run. Still very much in the ball game, and as they say in baseball, you have to score one run to win, to have a chance of winning a game anyway. So... And uh, that could be the run right there. It is. It's a home run. Round tripper for Davis. Henry Davis is having a day for himself. Uh, stepping in for Salvador Perez here. And that'll bring up Juan Soto. Let's see if he can follow suit with his own homer. No, he just strikes out. But we have tied the game on that Henry Davis home run. Caden Wallace is the batter. He is going to strike out. And that'll bring up Hyro Pomeranz. And Hyro Pomeranz is going to do a soft liner to second base. We're out of the inning, but we are tied now. And Vasquez still has some uh, gas in the tank here in the fifth. But that's going to be a that's going to be a double down the left field line. Lead off double for Texas. And that'll bring up uh, Leody Tavares. So Henry Ford would have got a double. Now he walks the next guy. So there's two runners on, nobody out. Vasquez falling apart here right before our eyes. But there's a pop out to the shortstop, which will hold the runners at first and second. And now with one out. And you've got uh, Foscu up at the plate. He is going to be out at first base. They didn't even try to turn a double play. They just said, hey... Forget about that mess, and we're going to pitch to Seeger. And Seeger is going to line one for a double that's going to score two runs and give Texas a two-run lead. They now lead 3-1. to one. Probably should not have pitched to Seeger, but, you know, I did. <laughs> and now Josh Young is the batter, and he strikes out. So, um, we gave up two runs there. Um, almost got out of the inning, but didn't quite. So, Hernandez is the batter. Bybee is still on the mound for Texas. And that's going to be a strikeout. Uh, Melendez is the batter at DH. And he's going to strike out. And that brings up the shortstop, Zhang. And he is going to walk. So that was a close pitch right on the outside, but uh, Bybee didn't get the call, and Massey is now the batter with a man aboard and two down. And he hits the ball into the ground, but that's going to be a ground out to second. So we come away with nothing. We're still losing 3-1 as we go to the top of the sixth inning. And I think Vasquez has enough to get us through the sixth, which is good. We want that. We had an off day the day the right before this game, so the bullpen should be pretty well rested, but I still don't want to burn through it quickly. Um, man aboard with one down, and Devers is the batter, the second baseman for Texas. And he is going to hit a ground ball. They'll get the out at second, but that's all they're going to get. Now it's a runner at first with two down, and Henry Ford at the plate. And Henry Ford is going to fly out to center field. Nice play by the center fielder there. Well, now we have to get on the board. we got to start playing here. Um, I'm going to get the bullpen up, 
Uh, we're going to get Anthony Menchkowitz up. And we will go back to the game with Bobby Witt Jr., the batter. And he walks. So we got the leadoff batter on. That's a good sign. We've got Henry Davis, the catcher, who's having a day and a half here for himself. And he continues to with a hit up the middle. So we have runners at first and second with nobody out. And Juan Soto. Well, you're not going to sacrifice with Juan Soto. But Juan Soto walks. We've loaded the bases with no one out. And Caden Wallace, the first baseman, he's got some pop. But the infield was in. And they are going to get, not hopefully not the double play. No double play. But they did get the lead runner at the plate and cut off the run, and so now Jairo Pomeranz is up with one out, and the base is still loaded now. That's going to be a fly ball to center that should score the runner at third. And there, there's the sacrifice fly that makes the score 3-2. But now there's two outs, runners at first and second, and Diego Hernandez up, and he is going to hit the ball to the second baseman who's going to make the play, and so... We really had a bad inning there. You have to say, base is loaded, no outs. You've got to come away with two or three runs, and we didn't do that. We're still losing by a run. I'm going to let Vasquez try to get the first out or two of this inning. He does strike out the first bat. I mean, he is having a pretty good game. We have to say, he's not having that bad of a game. And now we've got the uh, righty-on-righty matchup that you would want. He does strike that man out, and now I will go to the bullpen because Menchkowitz is tiring. So we're going to bring him in. And Menchkowitz comes into the game. He has a 491 earned run average on the year. And he's going to deal, and that will be a ground out to Bobby Witt. So we get out of the inning... And we're only losing by a run. It's 3-2 to two with Melendez, the batter, here in the bottom of the seventh. And that's going to be a strikeout. And now they have Roel Ramirez on to pitch. He's on to pitch for Texas. And he strikes out the next guy, so he gets the two outs here. And Michael Massey back to the top of our lineup. And he is going to strike out. So we're going... To the top of the eighth, with uh, Mensch Menchkowitz still out there. That was a lefty on lefty and an out. Ground out to second, one down quickly. Um, Josh Young is the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Nice. So Menchkowitz pitching well. It's good to see. Lowering his ERA and getting the next guy out. And he must, he probably. We'll have enough gas in the tank for the next inning, too, on the top of the ninth. But right now, we have to concentrate on trying to get a run and tie this game. At least a run and tie the game. One out by Witt. Witt's out. Henry Davis, who has been absolutely scalding hot this game. And he gets hit by the pitch. So he's aboard. I think he's been aboard every single time. Juan Soto is up. He has a chance to give us a lead here if he can hit one out, but he walks. Still, that's a runner on base. We'll take it. One down, runners at first and second. Caden Wallace is the batter. And it looks like they're bringing in another pitcher. That's going to be a ground out into a double play that will end the inning. So, uh, yes, Menchkowitz still has enough to get through the ninth um, if he doesn't get rattled here. There's going to be a ground out to second, so we will be in this ball game. We'll have a chance to win it in the bottom of the ninth, or tie it. One down for Texas, and that's going to be a uh, soft pop fly just over the second baseman's head for a, for a single. Texas has a man aboard, and he strikes out. The next guy, so there's two down with a man at first, and Leody Tavares is the batter. And Leody Tavares is going to fly out to right field, so we have a chance right here to uh, to tie the game or win it 
George Lopez is the pitcher, and Pomeranz is up for us. Got a lefty on righty matchup that we would want. And that's going to be a home run, and that's going to tie the game. So we do tie the game in the ninth. Now if we can get a run, we win it. And I better get somebody up in the bullpen, probably the closer, Romano, because it's going to be a high leverage situation. But you got to be prepared. I mean, we could win the game here and not even have to worry about that, but you got to be prepared. And that's going to be a strikeout. So there's one down. Nobody on, and Melendez is the batter. And Melendez is going to get a single just over the second baseman's head, and he's aboard. Sheng is up. He's hitting 182. I am going to um, I'm going to bunt with him, even though that would cause the second out if he is. Um, if he's thrown out. And he gets the bunt down, and it is successful, so we move a runner into scoring position with two down. And the leadoff hitter, Massey, up. If he can get a base hit, we might be talking about business! And it is! We win the game! We didn't even need the closer, and we come running out onto the field. Nice. So, we'll take a quick look at the box score. Nice win for us by the score of 4-3. We kept it close enough. We kept we stayed close enough to win it. So there's the box score and you couldn't you can see Henry Davis 3 for 3, two runs scored and an RBI. That guy had himself a serious day. Vasquez goes 6 and 2 thirds for us, allows 7 hits and 3 earned runs. But Menchkowicz, he really is the guy that came through for us. Two and a third scoreless innings. And so that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.